I mean, I, I'm fine right now with me, Trout. Yeah, you cheap fuck. Give this to the girl whose house you've been staying at. If you don't give it to her, then no more donation from me. What the fuck's going on? Oh, this Dude, this thing broke my shit. This thing broke my shit! The third time it fixed. Yo, yo, y'all need to stop. Nah, you just broke my fucking shit. Oh, you really need to get really Literally, you just, why the fuck you do that? Get your fucking hands off me, you stupid faggot. <laughs> no, okay. You know what? You no, you need some you need a timeout, you fucking asshole. Go in the fucking laundry room. You're being a fucking asshole right now. Breaking my shit. Saying the faggots. No. Ow! Ow, dude! Oh, fuck off. Broke my shit, dude. Think it's funny. You don't own the house, I own you, motherfucker. She was talking about. Talking about you breaking my shit. Think that's okay? That's not okay. Before we begin this, how old are you? I am 14. Okay, you're honest. So. Is the issue that your Fortnite servers are down, or...? Uh, no, I am not a gay baby and do not play Fortnite. Okay, what is it that you do? I play proper games like CSGO and PUBG, and yeah. Wow, CSGO, I remember that ancient technology. Now, tell me, what seems to be making you have an issue at the age of 14? I can only imagine. Uh, well, the problem is, I just have too big of a dick. No, no, no. Mm -mm. A 14 year old kid comes in, ask him what's his issue. What does the 14 year old kid say? My dick's too big. No, everybody in the chat's gonna see this. See this. Uh, shut up, dude! It is, it's better than you, man, dude. It's better than you, okay? So what? They just have fun with the song, man. I'm living my life. It's better than you, dude. Like, you are like what? 18 years old, but you act like you're 30 years old. You act like you're responsible for your family. You act like you did a lot for your family, but you did nothing besides like, you know, fapping at home and lying to your friends that you get your dick stuck every single day. But no one, no one have ever let you even touch their pussy. If it's better than you, you fake ass people. At least I live my life, man. I die with no regrets. Like CX, man, that we live our life. They live and live our life to the extent when we die that day, when we get sick, we die, and one day who knows what happens, we die. We are not scared of death, man. At that time when death comes, we are like, yo, let me die. I have lived my life. Say, CX! Instead of all these people, man, all these wannabes who always like tell me what, what I should be, man, when they're too scared to live their life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just there. I'm getting therapy from Rice. Did you originally plan on waiting until marriage? Yes, I did. I did. I, I honestly wanted to substantially stay abstinent for the rest of my life until marriage. And when I, once I fucked that up, I, I went down a, a, a dark path and did a lot of things I should have not done. Listen, why are you asking me these? Why are you, are you writing anything down? You fucking Mario head ass. You're a fucking square. Just, you wrote a square. The whole time. I haven't heard a single word you've said, to be honest with you, but it, it, it sounds like you're pretty fucked up, man. And judging by that hairline, it seems like your life is pretty fucked up too you can't get a hairline like that without a whole lot of fucking distress buddy i'll tell you that much and that bald spot on top your life is going down the fucking shitter therapy can't help you listen you need rogaine and you need steroids because you are beta as fuck and you look like shit you understand i can't help you i'm sorry get an appointment with a fucking miracle worker because you look like shit i don't even want to do this streaming anymore fuck you guys i'm gonna go to sleep fuck all of you all right hey you guys are the reason i don't have hair fuck you
直播？没有，我在直播。我的东西，我的东西，他们说 sorry drop you， 哎呦呦呦呦Hey, Mr. G. It's Alex again from school. I just want to let you know that class isn't the same without you. We miss you so much, Mr. G. Everyone at school is spreading really mean rumors about you. They all keep saying that you faked your entire degree and that you're not even a real teacher. And worst of all, they call you a pedophile, Mr. G. My parents have been asking me really personal questions about you, and I don't know what to say anymore. Please tell me this isn't true, Mr. G. Uh, yeah, that's not true, Alex. Don't believe everything that you hear. BB, what the fuck? I know it's not for me. I know that, but still, though. Okay, I'll give two hundred dollars for her. All right, check it out. Right, I'm checking it out. Bye, about to this. Better not be no bullshit. I might win and that, ladies and gentlemen, is the sound of a 40-year-old meme rapper. Oh, hey, BZ, it's Alex again. I just finished listening to that verbal diarrhea for the first time, and I had a couple questions for you. The main question on everyone's mind is what on earth were you thinking? That pathetic excuse for a song is literally the worst thing I've ever heard. You would have been way better off just turning around and farting into the microphone a couple times. At least that way you would have actually had some flow and lyrics. At this point, EBZ, I'm honestly convinced you're releasing these songs just to hurt our ears. I will give you credit though, EBZ. It's not easy making music that makes you feel like you're being tortured. So for that reason, and that reason alone, I will say great job and keep going. Have a great day, EBZ. Bye now. So you listen? Even Alex listened. You punk bitch. You roach in the best degree. You listen. Alright, we'll go with that. You know? Bye now, by the way. It says New Year's theme song. Ooh, okay. What is it? It's not playing. Hey Gary, my name's Alex. I just want to say thank you for being a great role model for all the beta males out there. The way you let EBZ boss you around in the studio at your own job was pretty embarrassing. EBZ could literally slap your girl's booty and you would do nothing about it. No wonder you're so scared to talk to strangers. You're probably scared they're gonna beat you up. Come on Gary, grow a sack of balls. Oh, Japan, oh, what part? Tokyo. Oh. You've been to Tokyo? Yeah, I've been to Tokyo. I've been to Japan. Yeah. Sorry about that. He's autistic. He has autism. No, come by. What is it? Oh, it's me flushing the Playboy down the toilet. The Playboy magazine. Yeah, but it's... Oh, what is that? Burn this dude. Burn this shit. Burn this shit, dude. No, that's edited because you even saw the Playboy in the fucking toilet. That's edited as fuck, homie. That's that's a tryhard, which is a face of a of our of our good friend Trihex on Twitch. Yeah. But I like Trihex, so I don't know why they did that. I didn't understand that either. It's just a, it's just a meme, I guess. They just, yeah, it was, you know, it was, yeah. they're trying, you know, like, like, never mind. Um, yeah, I don't even know. Um, All right.